We are Quadcast, episode 326. That was good. Okay. All right, everyone shut the f*** up. We are Quadcast! Wheel of Time, reread the podcast, explicit and R freaking rated. John is the wild card, always talking shit. Joe's the straight man, he's a total dick. Tom calls in if he's not too busy. Hey boys! Hey! Hi! 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 Boy! Hi! Hi! That's it. Oh, okay. Let's, get, let's move past this. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. We're gonna belabor it. Actually, kind of. I do kind of like just lingering on it weirdly. Let's I know. Up. You you like to fuck whoever's getting like like whoever's intro it is. <laughs> Wait for like episode three twenty six. Like. <laughs> I'm just standing here with my mouth agape and a penis in it. Oh. Wait, you didn't have a penis in there, did you? Like that? <laughs> What'd you do if I just pulled out a small dick? <laughs> <laughs> or a series of small this? dicks, like a clown. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't expecting this uh, tiny penis, were you? Might want to put up that profanity warning right now. Yeah, you should start with that, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, anyway... Ready? Spoilers from yeah. the whole series. And also, we say fuck a lot. I so, think that's what Tom is referring to. <laughs> <laughs> Which, yeah, we probably spoiled the fuck a lot by saying fuck a lot before the spoiler came out. Yeah, we did. We did. But it's all right. You know, well, I like how the fuck about it. is a series of uh, number sign percentage exclamation point ampersand. <laughs> We just it keep saying, too many letters, but I but said we just it. Just keep saying fuck. <laughs> hey, we don't write it, Tom. We say it. <laughs> it there's too many well, letters in your fuck a lot. We're right? not gonna write. We're not gonna write profanity, guys. That's yeah. It's slander, not libel. We're just going to say. It. <laughs> make you hear. We're not gonna make you read it and right, get it yeah. right into your brain. For the audio audio impaired, you're not missing much, though. We're not gonna write yeah, it for. That's but true. Just know. I mean, we the, they might be they might be listening to this. You know, they might not be watching it. Well, they're probably not. I think they're all watching. Know. All the, I mean, they're all viewers. <laughs> oh boys, what are we doing? <laughs> I, I well, feel like we should finish the intro. No, no. Also, yes. Uh, you are viewing Twatcast with the time re 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 read podcast now covering the companion. Da -da -da -da. Oh. Fire. The companion, of course, being the uh, giant mega glossary to the giant mega series known as the Wheel of Time. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Uh, yeah, that's I actually have this one. <laughs> Open to a random page. I don't know why it's a thing, but I like it. I, I, I wish that those were actually just other cameras that were just always live that you could just switch to. <laughs> Tom, it's a thing because I took them for. Uh... Oh, should I have a top down cam of my own companion? Oh, we should. I, I like explaining. <laughs> What the companion is, and then showing the uh, side of the book, and then just yeah, this is the Wheel of it. Time Companion by Robert. This is people kind of don't know what Harry a book Dickel, is. Yeah. 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 Let's show it open as well. Now you'll notice <laughs> the book has. I took a bunch of photos for uh, YouTube thumbnails. There was a reason. I, mean, I love. <laughs> I'm not that insane. Let me just. Tell you. you know what? I need 17 pictures of the companion. <laughs> Again, I want live camera though. Just a live feed, always just at the bottom of the screen. I saw my picture oh, of somebody okay. reading it in the park. Uh, I mean, let's really get into it. Yeah. What are our names? We keep interrupting Jenna. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of doing it on purpose at this point. You didn't even say anything. I know. I'm just getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jono. With me is Joe. Oh, hey, Jono. Hey. Hey. Hi. How's Tom, going? study your math. <clears throat> it's going great. I have decided to and recover from COVID. Oh, yeah. Took that a couple days. That was fun. Now I'm great ish. And uh, sound great. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it'd be fun to ruin my wife's birthday by uh, both of us having it. By being married to her. Yeah. Here's <laughs> <laughs> to that. Stupid dude. I got it. <laughs> Took me two and a half months. 
to get back to normal. Oh, well, I'm on day three. Like to yeah, more. you're done. I mean, day three. That's nothing, Dano. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, it's it's because you're it's because you're uh, triple Eight boosted. Four. Yeah. Uh, now I chose the Omicron specific boost called uh, COVID itself. Um. So yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Natural. I, thought, I didn't uh, get that one. <clears throat> um, but anyway, uh, the Unicron specific boost was just hot rod. <laughs> yeah, that's that's when he has the the matrix and he pulls it apart. Yes. And then a like badass 80s song, you've got the touch plays. Yes. And Which then a bunch refers of... to whatever you wanted to. <laughs> bunch of Autobots yeah. just go flying out of really wish I had a clip of that now. <laughs> All Why don't you have that? Germ cells and why don't I have a immediately, immediately have a Transformers ribbons ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The only thing you got queued up is air with mustard. Uh, so <laughs> well, just not, there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, yeah. listen, there's nothing wrong with Aram Sino. Everyone loves of, him. It's kind of the He's only thing I want queued up. I want it to be the visual reference for like everything that we talk about. <laughs> um, Aram Sino was in the A's tonight. <laughs> the letter B. Speaking of the letter B, do we have our guest of honor yet, or is she still busy with we her? Do. We do. We, we have a guest tonight. Her name, her name, Jono, is Taffy Bennington B. with a B. It's B. Bennington. Uh, hi, Taffy. Hey, Taffy. Hey. Oh, hello. Hi. What does your shirt say? It says twat. It says the wheel of time. I almost what wore my Jono shirt, but I figured I should wear this one. No, no it's, good. it's one of the old... Jordan Kahn, Wheel of Time shirts. Now, what is Wheel of Time, if you could tell us? Um, My shirt is of a well, sexy Well, it's like blue. when you have a clock, and you put it on a wheel, and you throw it down a hill. And you just oh. Like that. <laughs> I have no idea. That's really perfect. So yeah. it's, it's right here in the, the companion. <laughs> yeah. So we're oh, glad you can come a, on such... The wheel of time. I'm glad you could come on such short notice. Um, Billy Zane was going to come. Uh, Billy for B. Yeah. Uh, but he uh, didn't. So it's thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks a lot, Billy Zane. Thanks yeah. for nothing, Billy Zane. Maybe yeah. maybe he'll make it for oh, Z. Oh, not thanks for nothing. I mean, yeah. Yeah, maybe thanks we're saving him best for last. He made an <laughs> excellent film. Oh, Z. Yeah. He's like, yeah. just have you for Z, guys. <laughs> There's only one Z. It's probably going to be Dana. <laughs> I haven't oh, gotten to right, this right. I haven't gotten to the Z's in the Companion, but it'd be really funny if Zane, comma, Billy was in the middle. <laughs> it definitely is. <laughs> I have to see something here. <laughs> oh, man. It's really fun. It's anyway, four, well, the Z's are four and, four and a half pages. How could Billy Zane not have enough time to cover four and a half pages of a glossary? <laughs> yeah, I mean, how long? That's a, it's a 10 minute episode. We got time and to book just, him. We got time. We, to, can just, we got time to yeah, book him, Tom. I'll work on it. All right, Taffy, let's work on Taffy. Billy Zane for Z. Okay. Do you know anyone possibly yourself to be willing to dress up as the Phantom, like Billy Zane? <laughs> Wait, I when do. It comes, when it's time for the Z's <laughs> and, and do a Billy Zane impersonation the entire time. I do. My dad and I love that movie. Like we fucking we watched it in the late '90s like five times. Because you wear a mask and a purple skull cap. DK and... Moon says uh, Billy didn't want to show when he realized he wasn't in the B section of the book. Turns out he's in the Z section though, so he's that makes sense. He's DK Moon, Zane, yeah. comma Billy. I gotta say the last page of the Z's only takes up like a third of the page. You could everyone should write in their own Billy Zane <laughs> section. I can't. I mean, you know it's gonna good. be it's gonna be really fun when we get to those letters because I won't know what the show's about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm time to get to the Z's. I yeah. want to get. I just want to get to like what's Q? How many Q's are there? <laughs> I there can any? find out for it. Are we skipping a little of the alphabet? I'll be upset. Yeah, we're not. Right. We're not going to skip it. the Q. Is honestly, it's a <laughs> don't little spoil over, it, Tom. Don't spoil a little it. Over Wait, a this page. is spoiler heavy. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna I be a tough, that's gonna be a tough hour to film. Not to mention <clears throat> hey, Grape. That's, that's what's in mind from the <laughs> <a> live show <laughs> we did a couple like, years ago. Showing us that? Do we um, know any, since Jono anybody? didn't say it? Spoilers for probably the whole show. You had that at the bottom and books. Yeah, and I know for books. like a second. But now that we're gonna start talking, we're about to start talking about the companion spoilers because this is the companion to the yes. entire Wheel of Time series, in which case they expect that you have read it. I think. John, for your notes, do you have page numbers? 
Uh, no, but I can get it pretty easily. All right, because I did that as we uh, go back and forth and kind of go along. That helps, actually. I would, I would love that time because then I so many of, around her with you. So yeah. many of my, many of the things that I pointed out, like, or not many, but some of them are just like, oh, this is the thing we could talk about for half an hour, and some of them are just like, oh, here's when I do. once I say it. <laughs> that's literally that's it. that's it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's like the whole thing. Hey, P Mins. Hi, well, let's start with, uh, Taffy. Hi, uh, again, Patrick. You you joined just after <laughs> Billy's b cancellation at the last minute, so I don't know if I'm you here, had time. Yes, I'm here to it's fill true. in for you guys whenever you need it. Well, Taffy, you're also um, like Alan queued you up because you know he led to you, so like you know. Um, he he understood the kind of gravitas that you have, you know. So like that's why he was yeah. like, "I'll go first. I, I was ho I was hoping that you guys would choose to have him back to continue the A's, but I we kind of wanted to. Yeah. You can have him back for R, right? You know what? Uh, there's nothing that says we can't do this whole thing all over again. <laughs> Which true. apparently is what we do now. Yeah. We're a re re re. <laughs> re, -re We've right. never done this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Fair Have enough. you guys, either of you, actually read the companion, like cover to cover? No, no. I've. Uh, you know, I have. I'm yeah. slightly, I'm slightly ahead of where we are right now, and even yeah, I've never read it either. So I'm kind of like, this is fun for me. I haven't read. By the way, we have no guest lined up for next week. You know, we, we didn't have one in one hour. If your name is, if your name starts with a C, yeah, yeah. hit us up in the chat. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll, maybe we'll invite you on. Yeah, I only have like one idea for who that could possibly be. <laughs> really? I think I haven't really thought it. Well, to be fair, I haven't thought about it that hard. Uh, neither have I. <laughs> I haven't put any thought into it at all. I've got a few ideas. All right, what's your what's your first? Give me a B to discuss. All right. So on page ninety six, if Tom needs it in the hardback, I would like to discuss the fact that the first original entry is old Bane. And it's not just old Bane, it's Bane comma old. Like old is literally the <laughs> yeah, first I, I, Yeah, <laughs> like, I remember that. I saw that and I was just... <laughs> a farmer in Andor from whom Alpert Mole bought hay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love which, that he's in which there. Which immediately strikes the question, who the fuck is Alpert Mole? <laughs> Alpert Mole is one of are the people who me? ran Mad Ride on the way east to Andor. Or to that that, uh, That's that guy? I, I believe weirdly knew that. that. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. Oh, is what this trivia you now? Yeah. Well, it's a combination of uh, trivia and not trivia. Yeah, and yeah, that's Bane why I, that's why the companion's fun because you'll read an entry like that, you're like Bane, comma old. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. this. As, as and you're then going you're like, through well, this. who's Alfred Mole? And then you jump to the M's, and that's why yeah. I've never read it covered. No, no, no. You jump to the A's. If you jump to yeah. the M's, it'll say Mole, comma Albert, and it'll say C Albert Mole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the names are like that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I hope this is Alan's just weird fuck with people. Like, oh, I put that in the A's. Well, I mean, uh, oh, that's yeah. That's hey, we've got one. We've got one solid vote for C, guys. Willie Stickman. His last name's Clark. That's. Clark. I mean, he's been with us since. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> one. one. Start. Maybe. I have a, I have a um, Willie Stickman. That's all I gotta here. say. Well, as you get as you get through the companion, that's what you, like. Every single character is listening. You're like, why is this here? And then you realize Robert Jordan brought back fucking everybody, like all the time, like randomly. So of yeah. course they're here. That being said, John has done one. Now I want to do one. Let's turn back to page 95 and look at uh, oh. <coughs> Martin <Very> Bailey. <coughs> Martin Bailey, and her entry just says a fictional pie maker in Hinderstead. Yes, and that's the entire <laughs> entry. <laughs> I saw that one. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> why is she fictional is that Wait. is that one of the characters that Matt know. came up with like a backstory for when his oh that's what it is yeah because he had so many backstories that's got to be what it is that has, has to be that's what the else would it be referring to i don't know <laughs> it's got to be uh i just want to point out that on the topic of old comma uh bane and sorry to go back i went to the old section of the companion oh, i'm no. gonna well, there's <laughs> old Cully, old deer, old Grim, old Jack, old Road, old sheep. <laughs> like they're all there <laughs> what? in a row, but only only this one is uh, old Bane. <laughs> yeah, 
I don't something I like that. Something like that happens in the seas, but I'll bring it up next week. <laughs> the seas and stars? Nope, too dumb. Uh, well, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Taffy, no. as always, if you have one, uh, feel free to insert it. In I between do, but now I'm in the O's and I'm finding like. This is bees only, damn it. Word order. Ooh, this is a fun. <laughs> Words and phrases right. in the old. All right. Wow. Back on the Taffy. John that's like that's like 15 Taffy. pages here. Stick to the John bees, Taffy. It's, it's not my fault. Stick okay. to the bees. Okay. You got okay. one for us? Yes. Um, I have a few. Oh, okay. um, We're just gonna round robin. Well, so one that I one. one that I thought you guys might like, and I'm sure you read it. It's Barker's um, page yeah. 102. I assume doggy style. No, it just seems like a word <laughs> that you guys would like very much. What? Yeah. Well, read the definition. Uh, I'm talking to Joe. Like my flat affect was to Joe, not for Oh, you, a Jeff. pejorative <laughs> ebudari term for young women of a certain type. But. <laughs> but it's yeah. all the girls I mean, that listen to your pot that listen to your podcast and view watch you, and or listen i, I think they all watch you and i was like <clears throat> well too. barkers i'm pretty sure they all watch the podcast yeah yeah <laughs> oh yeah all right any, okay yeah okay yeah. interesting <laughs> i gotta i gotta work that i gotta work that into my vocabulary i like that yeah, I think it's, it's a good one it, it's always interesting to see what we collectively decide to like land on. I know I read that and I was probably just like, I don't know. And I just moved on. And now that yeah. you said it, I think it's fucking hilarious. I, 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 you said <laughs> Barker's. I was like, I knew exactly. I guess, yep, I know what that's about. What's, yeah. But, but the fictional said, pie maker, I was like, what? Fictional the pie maker. Yeah, that, that was the best one, I think. That's up there so far. Oh, is yeah. that? So should we, should we be ranking these? Oh, that's no. my favorite. Fictional Pie Maker is my favorite for the night. Mine too. So yeah. Maybe just keep an eye. Let's keep an eye on it. Uh, okay. Bane, comma old. That's is what I'm saying. Just keep an eye. On it. Has, <laughs> the lack of rationality for Bane old is Bane, comma old. <laughs> All right, Jono. What okay. was the next thing that stood out to you from the companion? Uh, this this one's the easy Jono joke, considering I am a uh, homosexual gender uh, gender gender, and obviously, uh, go on. Yeah. Uh, Ballot, a Dumani sword swallower and fire eater uh, with Lucas show. I know what that is, but the two to, two together, sword swallower and fire eater, sounds like <laughs> someone with a fetish only for ginger cock. And that's just like really fun for me. I can see how that stood out to you. I remember reading that and just being like, well, I'll move on to the next thing. But Yeah, I meanwhile, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> outstanding. Oh, you yeah, fire. Like He's yeah, talking about red pussy. ginger dicks. <laughs> he's talking about he's talking sense. about ginger pubes. Yeah, <laughs> I renamed my wife Ballot, and now it's all right. Um, I did a poll before we started. I bet you did. Uh, <laughs> 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 you know what I'm talking about. Johnny, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what is your favorite B entry in, in the Twat Companion? I only put Bella Brigitte and Bane, comma old. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, by the way, got zero votes. Clearly, they don't appreciate home. Bane, comma old. Um, but Bella is a clear winner, obviously, at seventy five percent. I can't <laughs> wait to get bad. torn asunder by that because that's. <laughs> well, I know you guys low. don't want to talk about Bella, but the last part of her entry was interesting because no, we it, can talk about Bella. Well, I it agree. turned out that I, they, I marked it down. Oh, yeah. because of the last part of it. Yeah. 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 Uh, because of her, the, she had some babies. Yeah. And well, that's also the I didn't know. second to the the uh, the the penultimate part too. Thought she was to thought to dead. be dead. But well, I, I thought she was dead. Yeah. I read the book. Yeah, I did. I thought she was dead. And then she just me. pops up alive at the end, and then all of a sudden she has a baby. That's my favorite thing about going through the companion is there's so many characters we're not too sure about, and then you just get to the end of their entry, and it's just like died horribly in the last battle. Like, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, or <laughs> wildly horribly. survived the last battle and did this crazy shit, and you're like, "What?" I'm sorry, I'm ginger exclusive. I only go there for red hair. <laughs> I'm a fire. I'm a fire eater. Yeah, yeah, I'm a fire eater. Yeah. Okay, so I don't. 
surprised Val and Luca I, hired him because they thought he had a different skill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, no, I just have a thing for gingers. I just eat sword. Yeah. Oh, that's Dick also, by the way. I'm sorry. What was it in uh... <laughs> I shouldn't really be in your circus. I'm a flaming sword eater. I'm like, incredible, you're hired. And then yeah, that like, Jason two days later, he's like, what, it's this? Uh. <laughs> Is that Jason Sudeikis movie where like like they're trying to kill their fucking boss? I think that's probably just what it's called. Um, horrible so boss. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not called. Unbelievably, I'm trying to kill my fucking boss. It's yeah. called. But the horrible. second one, they're trying like like the guy does wet work, and so they think that yeah. like, they're open for murder. And the guy's supposed to get pissed on, or be pissed. Like, that's oh, yeah. the same idea. <laughs> you know what's Spoiler really I, really odd? I just watched both of those very recently. Oh. <laughs> like so did I. like really recently. I didn't get to the end of two though. I fell asleep. Oh no, that's a bad. All movie. right, so I have a, so the entry on Bear, uh, back that Bear. The, Wait, we the, didn't I, finish. But we didn't talk about Bella. All that's all you want to do is say had babies. Gotta, that's it. Uh, all right, baby. Do we want to uh, speculate on what this baby did? Yeah. No, I just want to. I mean, let's talk about her r random forced rebirth in the companion at, at all. Maybe it wasn't even forced in the companion. It happened in the final book. Oh yeah, she, that's true. She, she definitively died in the book, and then like thirty pages later, she's like, oh nice yeah, back. yeah, that's right. Was someone bail fired? Maybe I forgot about that. Because I, I, I so the baby parts new though. Yeah, yeah, she, I got don't, her, yeah. she got shot down. She got up when again. Fail or over? I can't remember. It was escaping on her. It was the horn. It was fail. And yeah, and she's back later at the end. Yeah. I, so obviously. First off, no one likes dead animals, right? That's a pretty yeah. universal. If you're okay with well, dead Bella animals. was universally loved by the fandom for for bizarre reasons. I will. That's and that's where I was gonna go. I love it's animals. I see cats right over there. But fuck me, I got so tired of Bella lives, and I know that that's <laughs> yeah. Who cares? Yeah, just we should just guys. Like, it's just a horse. Yeah, <laughs> it's, not, it's not important, guys. There's, there's many horses to ride. She's just a horse. There's lots of horses. Yeah. She's I mean, pretty great. She's. I know. She's pretty great. Know. Is she? Yes. She's. Beach <laughs> says, "Didn't she become a hero of the horn?" And I'm 99% sure, <clears throat> certain that either Sanderson or Harriet said that. If it's or maybe Maria, somebody from Team Jordan said it. That's all I know. It was actually Robert Jordan, the hero of the horse. Um, <laughs> no one likes dead animals. Hold my hand here. <laughs> says John Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's what happens when you fuck with animals. Um, yeah. Oh, also, Ayush says I agree with Jono. Sad as that is to say, it's pretty sad. That's you know why? Because Jono says horrible things. Yeah, that's all right. Good for you, Ayush, to say horrible things. I don't know, Bill. Thing. Like, what about the whole Bella's the creator thing? Oh, fuck off. That we in your this? brain. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's why even, you guys hated I'm not it. Even, now. I'm not even having this conversation. Next. All right, we're yep. gonna yep. talk. Right, so yeah. All right, it, it, so it explicitly says Bear survived the last battle. We see her at Rand's funeral. It doesn't say whether or not Amos survived the last battle in her entry. Isn't and I don't Bear recall if we see in her Abby Enda's future thing too. Her I don't like know if she is, visions? but she went through the uh, Crystal Columns or whatever. Tom, do you have um, a page number? Uh, Ninety-six. Bear? Just, yeah. It just says she survived the last battle. It's literally. Also, I like that it's like she survived it to attend his funeral. Like that's the whole reason she just wanted to see yeah. him dead. Like, like, the, only that, reason, we, the, the only reason I marked oh, it out okay. was because I, I wasn't sure. So I oh, thought that bear. Could, somebody could tell me that. Did I thought you were talking about an actual bear, oh. but it, you mean the wise one, right? Yeah. yeah. Did Amos survive? That's my question. Do we know? I can't remember. Again, I'm pretty Amos? sure Amos was at the, um, in no. Avienda's like visions of the future, like when she like Pat post the piece of the dragon's piece or whatever. No, and, like, she was not. No, really? Sure. No. Hmm. And she and it's getting really bleak. Well, you read there. that recently. Yeah. You know, in it's in the grand scheme of things, compared to it me, is so super I'll bleak and child goal at the end of the book. And Amos is out there like fighting. I don't know if we see her afterwards. Huh. So I was just curious what you guys thought. Hmm. But I guess nobody knows. Nobody knows. Well, we'll hey, see. Nobody uh, in chat seems to know either. Uh, I, I so this is a bear question. This is an Amy's question through the lens of bear's entry. Is that what we're getting at? Yeah. I'm a, yeah, kind I'm of. Looking just, back at Amy. Just made me think of it. Huh. Again, no, it never says. It doesn't say. I don't know. Discussion. Just. 
No one, I, no one, one I really like. I mean, there's no, not again, not really to discuss it, but Bale Scream. That's awesome. I think it's a yes. cool term. Yeah, yeah, really cool. I, I kind of forgot like about that. So as we're flipping through, and I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, what a cool term. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I also kind of describes right it well. It. Yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, you know what Iggy Onan calls it when uh, she's fucking her husband. Bale Scream. What? Isn't that what he calls it when he finishes? Nope. <laughs> Here, starting to wipe down his mind. That do be true. <laughs> Does he say I do be coming? Yeah, I do be coming. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's Bale's do be cream. coming. Uh, Bale's There's a huge entry everything. on Bale. Yeah. I oh, there is. For, I have an yeah, open Bale moment, too. Yeah. Well, let's not get too far away from Balefire real quick. Do you notice oh, in the okay. entry that it says when they somebody gets bail fired, their soul is not destroyed? Yeah, that's an interesting thing. I I had seen that, and it was, hmm. and that makes sense because otherwise, like there would technically be a diminishing amount of humanity to like, keep drawing out. And if someone uh, this is a deep that, cut, uh, Willie Stickman yeah, yeah, referred yeah, to yeah, Amy says lady. the Cookie Lady, which yeah, famous used to call her a lot, and I forgot yeah. about completely. Because so <laughs> <laughs> I always thought it was a maze. Uh yeah, it is. Uh, Amis cookies. Yeah. Amis Hi, famous. Dan. Chocolate cookies. Famous yeah. Hi, Dan. Uh, but uh, where are we uh, talking? again talking about a, a Amis, um, Amy's cookies? I mean, so I yeah. assume she survived. Oh, she just fought the second with Katzwein or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's and correct. that's what I remember too. So I don't. I yeah. would say she lived. Obviously, it was um, like but, right up to that, and things so were the thing, a lot going of the horribly, thing. and then you don't hear about her again. Yeah, a lot of the entries into the companion are like that, where it's like everything seems fine, but you don't really hear definitively where she went or what happened. And then you read the companion, and they're like died horribly while saving their family from a sinking battleship and you're like well that's weird i, I yeah, assume but... the issue is or that that's not an issue i think the, the fact is that yeah to a certain extent yeah, just they're not she was at the last battle like they if it's not in jordan's notes or sanderson's like i need it yeah then it's here, then it's whatever yeah fuck it you know like and i think that's to a certain extent other i assume other than bella i guess maybe sanderson did that uh that like that's just kind of that's it I hope uh, she died because Ruark died so fucking sadly. Yeah, Ru Ruark was mm. great character. He was done, he was done he the was worst awesome. out of everybody. Amos was fucking great. I mean, I don't even know what the fuck I call her. Amos. <laughs> I do be coming like a fountain when I come. <laughs> <laughs> Almost, it's, wow. it also sounds like you could kind of put that to the tune of like she'll be I coming down the mountain. <laughs> I think he knows that. Okay. Just, just make it sure. <laughs> he might. Uh, the I second you read it, it's that. all I can think. <laughs> I do. We come in like that. I don't know if you did that on purpose. <laughs> ben, tell me if you did that on purpose. <laughs> um, I feel like there's a she'll be riding six white horses joke. Somewhere. Have you? Or she'll be I, hitching nine white horses. I mean, yeah, I can't really Wait, figure it out. Nine horses? I, I, Nine I, I know I showed you, Joe, that yeah. fucking amazing thing of Daniel Radcliffe when he was in, uh, when he was on that TV show that he did with Steve Buscemi, um, shirtless, singing that, just blitzed out of his mind. And it was the. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was very drunk when I showed it to you and it made my fucking day. Uh, I do recommend that anyone watches that show whose name I cannot remember, so good luck finding it. But it has Daniel Radcliffe, <laughs> who is famous. That's, that does narrow it down quite a bit. I mean, yeah. it's IMDb. That can't be that hard to figure out. In the book. So Taffy, what uh, else do you have for us? <clears throat> we didn't give Taffy a lot of time to repair. No, we did not. As, <laughs> well, as, as I was looking through the fucking book, but I did uh -huh. get a little distracted because John was like, "You don't have to read all of these," but I fully started just reading all. I read of these. all right. Like yeah, like because I love how every once in a while there's just like this thing that's clearly written by Alan. Where it's just on the detail, and you're like, "What the?" And it sounds like you could almost hear his voice saying the description. Let's, yeah. The Does it start with "You know, it. actually, comma," and then <laughs> the rest of it keeps going? <laughs> Probably. It has that vibe on it. Yeah. I got. I, I just one. found one. To your point, I just found one. Just stare it out. Page out of that book. It's got Alan's signature and everything. John, what season? I have one. one. Okay. What? I have a I have an Allen signature. Actually, 
I think that's uh, I think Otto's doing the dishes. Oh, you have to cover something, huh? Look at you. Hey. Yeah, you very nice. Too. Yeah, that's like when me. I that's when I went to the signing oh, yeah, that I sent right. you that picture for. Oh there. Okay. Oh yeah. That well, is a uh... serious signature. That signature is look at radical. it. It's, it is very serious, actually. Radical very romantic. That's awesome. I, I love it. Well, mine's pristine. I didn't want anyone to touch it. It was so weird to see them in LA. Like um, So in like this here. picture of Taffy Bennington, <laughs> I cropped it so you can't see him, but Alan and barely Maria are are there in the picture yeah. off to the side. But um But yeah, you got to meet them in LA. That was pretty cool. So you went to yeah. a, you went Taffy, you actually went to like a wheel or a companion signing. I did. And yeah. Jason Jason Denzel was there too. He his Did I you spit on him or throw anything of any out. kind or how did you, how do you treat it? No, I did. I we Were went out like, to dinner with him. Oh, you were nice. Okay. Just At dinner, did yeah. You kind of like choke on something, and then like we were like, "You're the worst, Jason. Why are you even here? Do you say anything like that?" Um, I don't think so. Oh, but there's no, right, I don't fine. remember. This chance. But you drank so I much, guess, you don't remember. I guess we like Jason. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> no, it was really, it was really fun to see. Plus, um, that was the night I got to chat for a while with Harriet, and I've chatted with her before, but she Remember was telling Harriet? me, like, <laughs> um, the lady, the editor of the book series. Oh. oh the book, the book, the book. You're the, the book. worst, Jono. <laughs> um, she was telling me romantic stories about her and her husband when they would travel, oh. like, for, uh, like, years ago for um, book signings, either for books even before Wheel of Time, and I, that's... Those are my favorite stories to hear because they loved each other very much. And it's really yeah, getting romantic. to s spend any time with um, Harriet is always really fun. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, are you guys going to ask her to be on for H or M? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yes. I like how you were like, or M? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, uh, like, I don't know. We don't ask her for a lot anymore these days, but I like, think she maybe... would like to. She loves talking to you guys. She yeah, I know, I know. To do it. It's it's one of those things where I mean, and we do this with Alan and Maria too, but we just try not to bother them as much as possible because we bother them a lot. So like, you know, I don't know. But uh, yeah, maybe maybe we'll ask her. Let's ask you for H, and then if not, because obviously Maria's M's, or we could do the right. S. But yeah. But mm -hmm. yeah, you know what. It, just do ask yeah. them soon so that way and then if you're oh, you know you probably weeks. have yeah. a schedule at this point right okay so i'm sorry <laughs> well i mean it's like you know you're not going to do b again yeah. next week the idea that we plan ahead of time i it's emailed like, you yesterday that, I, I was gonna say real quick when did we ask you to be on this um <laughs> three weeks ago when i had yes, it in the outlook calendar ago. and that's true yeah, we did. Serious, yeah. Donna, what are you talking about we were yeah. just following up yesterday. If you want, yeah. you guys can give me um, a TwatCast email account with yeah, my name we'll on it. Let's do that. We'll just do that. Taffy, the assistant. Taffy at TwatCast.com. And I will I will start contacting people ahead of time to give them lots of <laughs> With time random to... number or letters in their name. Taffy, <laughs> so I saw I on uh, Twitter that your name is... <laughs> I Wolf bet if you tried brother. really hard, you could guess the password to our. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's really not that deep, it's guys. Like we got a lot to talk about in this companion. And today's episode is brought to you by the letter B. The letter B. Okay, well, I did. I wrote one down. I'm trying to find it. Berg. I wrote okay. Berg. 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 What? What page? Uh, page one twelve. Okay. B e r g. A oh, Berg. And I would like. I'd like John to read it, please. <laughs> This this one sounds like Alan, right? Yeah. The ugly yeah. bouncer, the seven striped lass, and came with. He did not like Matt talking to Melly, the innkeeper. That's, that's for it. sure. That's, that's an Alan. Like, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's got to be. Hmm. I, re I remember bouncer. that scene. I think I do too. Mr. Ugly Bird. Like... <laughs> uh, Tom or Joe, do you guys have one? <laughs> uh, I can do. Let's. Or is, we were talking about Bell Dome, and so let's go to him on page one hundred six, real quick. Uh, okay. You don't actually have to go to the entry. It's just, I, I just thought it was interesting. I totally forgot 
I went through the whole entry and it just said he got that letter in Ilian where they were going to have him killed and yeah. he fled town. Yeah, yeah. Who was trying to kill him? Uh, oh, shit. It was a uh, setup. Set yeah, it's a setup from Dark Friends. Because yeah, it was of- Dark Friends, but I don't remember why. But what Dark Friends? I don't know if it's ever explained. No, it is sort of. No, it's not explained, but it's very heavily implied that it's the same like reasons that they want. It's like during that period of time where they're all like, let's move all these pieces around on the chessboard. So Rand has to go in one direction or whatever, oh. which makes like no sense whatsoever unless you know exactly what you're reading at the moment. Tom's just going to look it up. And it's something like that. No, yeah. I'm just I'm, I'm deleting my notes as, as we cover them. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's my that's my recollection though. Is and obviously there being he being an alien, uh, they being in you know one of the places to go was either Tier or Main. There's the potential that kind of that weird uh, uh, kind of interplay between the two uh, Forsaken, although that may have been before the High Lord Salmon, not Salomon, uh, had started. Salmon. Can you uh, yeah. be a little more quiet? Yeah. Go ahead, John. Is that Sorry, auto? Gotta... Yeah, so... yeah, it's auto Bennington. Just smashing yeah. dishes in the background. <laughs> the, high, the, high, the High Lord Fish choice at a wedding. Yeah, he's like, "Oh, are you on a podcast that's live? Let me just do the pots and pans." <laughs> <laughs> I do be doing the dishes. Uh, he has just been watching Wet Hot American Summer, so he just heard that potter sound. <laughs> um, oh, um, Ben Butler nails it. Someone wanted the seal. Yeah, so I think that's what it was. It was about getting him to not go one way and go and bring the seal a different direction. So that's smarter than what we said, which is very yeah, fresh. It was, well, and like I said, it was something about maneuvering pieces on the board to get them in certain places. I couldn't really remember. I assumed it was about rant, but it was about but even, the seals. But even that's an inference, right? Like, that's not confirmed. No, you're, you're, you're aware he has it on board at that point yeah. on his ship. So, like, you know, like, while why they are after him specifically. It's and not vaguely just, set like, up and then it's never really concluded. Yeah. Well, it was Kiss from the Rose, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can follow that so, up. <laughs> nothing there. Uh, uh, I would like to talk about blood knives. And I actually... Watch Here we this. go. Here, he, he, thank you. Uh, so two things. First off, <laughs> like a tampire. Yeah. Is <laughs> that a thing that? Know about? <laughs> Do you remember we found a picture of <laughs> a vampire with tampon? <laughs> I have no idea. We tweet. I was looking through our what we had tweeted the other day for some reason, and I went pretty deep, obviously, because it's like a million years ago. But I just saw this random picture of a vampire's face, but he has tampons for teeth, and I just started dying laughing. Okay, I, I remember that. No <laughs> What's that? What? I could anyway. find it for you if there's any text on it. I could find it for you right now because I have your Twitter search. I'm I'm pretty sure it's tampire. Did you write that or is it just like a picture? It's a picture and I think we wrote it. I don't know. (laughs) Anyway, it was hilarious and I was dying laughing. (laughs) Fuck. Well, that's that's We were really funny 10 years ago. Uh, I'm just getting older and more tired. (laughs) Yeah, this is a great show. Very hyper. Yeah, but when you bring it back up, blood knives and all, like, you know. Uh, so blood knives. Um, I fired off an email to Alan. Haven't responded yet. Uh, when was his, that? Uh, we know. We know he responds to you right away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, that's normal. That's normal. Out of that. Hour and a half ago. Because if you remember the blood knives, uh, that's kind of like what happened with that assassination attempt in uh, the White Tower, and yeah, Nolan you know, got caught up in that shit. And honestly, the blood knives to me, I remember you, like all the, all three of us kind of were talking like, this doesn't, like they've got Tarangrails, they've never been discussed until right now. This seems like some... Oh, it, de- it definitely um, felt like a Sanderson yep. thing that he inserted to make Gawain more interesting right at the yeah. end. Yeah. To I me. Say, yeah. Well, I will say, like... In Certain fairness. things have a Sanderson flavor. Yeah, but every every book has like the introduction of some random new thing that Jordan came up with. Originally. Yeah, but Is Jordan wouldn't saying? have done that in the last book. Like <laughs> he not? wouldn't. Have. He would have just been like, "This is this is we're wrapping it all up." 
So I'm not gonna. I, I don't know whether or not it's a Jordan or Sanderson thing. My assumption is Sanderson, just because that just seems. Uh, it sounds like, like it seems like it's a name brand that seems Sandersonian. If that's a word, it is. Uh, yeah. like all around everything. About it's it. Branzo Sanzo. You've been saying it wrong all. Oh, Branzo Sanzo Oreo. Um, yeah. okay. uh, but what's funny is like, I Susan think Susan Sarandon. Anderson, I will accept as well. Susan Sarandon. And Susan then the Sarandon. one right below it was Bloodlands, and I was just like, well, that's what I call my penis too. Uh. Just for for uh, everyone else to know what our shitty jokes the are. The definition of bloodlance, parentheses, Jono's penis. A tall <laughs> bay whores owned by Harold Pretales Warder. Yeah. See also. Yeah, put a lot Pretales of extra for Yeah. So. But I'm excited to find out what bloodlance is and if he's okay or uh, if blood knives. I know what bloodlance is. Uh, that they should definitely call his penis Bloodlands' Lance. Um, uh, but if Alan does write back, I'll let you guys know. Even the idea of how a blood knife ring thing, like the word, the way it works, seems Sanderson. Like a drop of the blood, and then a drop know, of the blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A drop of the host blood and <laughs> leeches <laughs> life from the host. Like a drop of the blood. Wait, you know, like a are Nidia, we about Brandon man. Sanderson or Mario Sanderson? Oh, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Wah, Louis Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> Louis Anderson. Uh, oh, Wah, Louis Anderson. All right. So, all right. So, real quick on page one hundred and five, there's an entry on the Battle of the Shiny Walls. Yeah. This is like a paragraph, but it's got some detail. And then I don't know if John, I, Joe, I know you didn't get to go through the A's or Taffy. John, I don't know if you noticed when you're going through the A's, there's at least like two or three entries of characters that were like a lot of detail about what their role was at the Battle of the Shiny Walls. And yeah, I'm okay. assuming that whenever that's this cool. comes up, that's got to be from Jordan's notes, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That, that seems like really spring, et cetera. Yeah. I almost thought about yeah. going back through the A's and like picking those out and then throughout the rest of the companion getting all those together and just seeing like how much information about the you know the blood snow that there actually is in his notes. That would be cool. That's a cool idea. I know it's Scholar spread out. It, I'm assuming yeah. it's yeah. spread out all over the place. Maybe somebody's already done it. Yeah. <clears throat> I bet I bet somebody has. Yeah. I hope but so. if they I'm haven't excited. On that note, I'm excited for that book that's coming out. Um, that all of a sudden, its name I can't remember. That's called Good uh, Editorialization. There. Um, yeah, but I like that. I like that. it's a good title. Good, ed details, good editorialization. Right? Fuck me. Um, but you know the book of which I speak, and I can't remember any of details, names, or whatever. But from uh, what's his name? He went to the Citadel. He's got Jordan Con every year. Um, he's gonna kind of Michael Livingston. Yes, thank you. What else you got for me to help me bail me out? Oh, the title of his book? I don't know it. I'm sorry. God damn it, Joe. What the fuck do I even pay you for? Yeah, like, uh, what do I have to do? Everything? Ugh. That's a weird name for a book. God damn it, Joe. Why do I pay you Yeah, for and it? then, like, why do I have to do everything? It doesn't I fit well on the spine, but know, Joe, it only has Michael one Levinson. name underneath, so it's okay. <laughs> Wait, I like that it says live at the top. Michael Livingston. <laughs> yeah. It says live at the top like it looks like it was just a live video for Oh, <laughs> oh it, it, it was. <laughs> it looks like a live video feed from your book. Can't I mean, stolen, it is. Right? Taffy, we don't want we don't want to steal it. I was calling no. you your wrong name. Um. All right. Wagner. Well, let's. It's called oh, the uh, Bible, Jono. <laughs> what well, else you got, Jono? Uh, so on that note, Tom. Uh, let's see, Brandale, which is not Brandale Sanderson. Um, give me a second to find that page because I uh, don't. Brandale. Have it. Oh, race, um, race, race. Well, we're racing. One thirty. Uh, dang it. Jono. That's all right. So fuck you, Jono. I don't remember anything about Randall Flodari. <sighs> fuck you, Jono. Uh, but what I like about this is also kind of what I want more of. It's like so he's uh, another Lord Captain, the Children of the Light. One of the things that I think that was so fucking cool is like we see. Obviously, there's like you know, Jeff from Bornhall, a few others that we see kind of in the early parts. When the, Did you say bone hold? Yes, I apologize. I've got a, something in my mouth, penises again. Um, and I, I can't. A lot of little ones. <laughs> so many. <laughs> so many. That's what a lot of little ones, but they all have ginger pubes. Because <laughs> yeah. John is a fire eater. A lot of swords falling in that fire eating type. 
Um, but I, I appreciate just how many Lord Captains there had to have been. And it almost makes you wish that you know, they had been more insidious than they really ended up being after that first assassination attempt on Rand in, I think, Camelot. Yeah, that uh, seems like a wasted, wasted event. Uh, like because like, there's so they're many subtly making them lose the battle. <laughs> yeah, which is also ingenious, but at the same time, you're like, it doesn't really feel like a. I mean, we all know the three prongs of the Dark One's plan, <laughs> and doesn't really fit fit into that. You know, he's more of a brute force <laughs> kind of guy. Yeah, it and it makes great. sense though. What type of what? Usually weather. they were shooting uh, crossbow bolts with. Three prongs. Yeah. That's my case. The devil's pitchfork. Yeah. I, I, my dick has three prongs on the end of it. Well, Jesus. I mean, that goes devil's out. tried it. I mean, whose doesn't? It'd be weird <laughs> oh, it I mean, of course, yeah. Jono calls I, his all the of shocker. Our... Oh. <laughs> just John. That's it? You just, so you just all have three prongs. It's three prongs, that's all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, well, Stay on the same page and go one entry down to Bran, Egwene's uh -huh. father. Mm -hmm. And let's look at the list of daughters. They all okay. have individual entries. Yeah. I saw and the I oldest missed, sister earlier. Yeah, I missed Aline when we were doing the A's. And when I got to Barrowin first, I was just like, what the fuck, Aline? They all, Aline's they all go to the tower, don't they? No, none of no. them do. And it's all very detailed oh. about oh, how their lives worked out. Then? It's fascinating. Yeah. Is it Barrowin who was like the whole glossary reading these? I couldn't get past it. I was just like, "What the fuck?" Hi, Dana Lou. Barrowin, who is the prettiest, and like her husband Hi, died like two years in. I think Barrowin might have been the pretty. Nah, well, let's find out. <laughs> yeah, I thought Barrowin was the oldest. Right? I think it's worth exploring a Queen Sisters because it's just fascinating. Yeah, it is. Well, uh, we already missed two of them, Tom. So we'll circle back around when we get to E. Well, no, we haven't missed it. Barrowin. All right, we haven't paid. missed Barrowin. All right, you're right. Oh, Barrowin was considered to be the prettiest. Oh, no. She married a young man of the Lumen family. Barrowin. Yeah. And had one daughter. Yeah, uh, really? her, husband, her husband and child died. Oh, a year Jesus. later. Yeah. After less than two years of marriage, she couldn't remain on the mm -hmm. farm any longer, trying to work it alone, so she sold the farm to her in-laws and started hooking. Oh, barking. <laughs> no, <wait. laughs> She's a barker now. She makes a, She just yeah. started barking on the streets. Yeah. She later married an For outlander. any three pronged plan she could find. Yeah. All right, so she she later married an outlander who came to the two rivers. It was possible she could have learned to channel. Every single one of the sisters' entries says it's possible they could have learned to channel. Oh right. Yeah, it's true. That Might have been so. able to. Hmm. Yeah. So in like a different a different version of the pattern, or a, you know what's that called? So is that a like more Parallel? proof that it's like yeah, like the like, like the channeling is genetic? Yeah, that's stone exactly worlds. right. I think right, yeah, a lot like, is, the less likely worlds or whatever the portal stone worlds. Yes, it's could have been like trees. heroin instead of a green mm -hmm. kind of thing. Is that is that kind no, of no? No, it's literally that it was this was never tested. Uh, yeah, but so I understand are, that. But I'm just saying. In the infinite possible, like is like oh a queen. It's not a queen. It's this one. It's not a queen. It's this one. Versus well, like anything's possible. Well, yeah, yeah, anything's possible. That's kind of my point. Uh, a lot of the entries say uh, they were too old to be tested. Ah, yeah. so they might have yeah. gone to the tower after the fact. Interesting. Uh, Interesting. Do you want to jump back to her sister Aline before? We'll save. Sure. And I got Elisa already ready if you're ready, Jeff, yeah. Tom. Well, let's save El Elisa and, no, no, we'll and save the other two. Louise till we get to the right. E's and the L's, maybe? Yeah. Here's what right. So are you doing Elise for which, which one are you doing first? Is it Elise? Just Elise. 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 Her second eldest sister. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> allowed to braid her hair at 16. Dana Lou obviously coming in with a brilliant, uh, they might be learners instead of sparkers. It, exactly like, where. Which is what yeah. Jono was saying. Yeah. 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 Well, Although don't. Feels like a racial pretend thing. I just didn't give Jono credit. Just as a viewing audience. Feels like a, a, a hot blood. He just like happened to thing. say the right thing. He got lucky. Yeah. He was like, he accidentally said. Yeah. That, it, that was like intelligent. Yeah. Oh, Aline mm -hmm. was a bookworm and always reading about far off land. She might have been a. Uh, Maybe, maybe a brown. She never married. Hey, how about this? Since um, oh, Alan was, lesbian, you know, like yeah. riveting and got us on seventeen hundred tangents, and we didn't quite cover the A's. When an A comes around that we feel like we should, you know, give two yeah. seconds of our time, we can go back. 
Um, yeah, will you excuse awesome. me for a second? Excuse sure. me, sorry, oh, yeah, I'll be right back. Sure. Okay. Oh, so, Aline, uh, Aline Alvear did want to be tested by Varen and Alana, and they refused because she was too old. Oh, she that would have been second, She was the five? second eldest, so Varen would have been definitely been never, right? been, <laughs> never would have been tested. Wait, you guys uh, were talking over each other. Tom, what did you say? Oh, so Baron one never would have been tested because she was the oldest. Uh, oh, because yeah. she was second. She eldest. was an old, I think. Well, yeah. Yeah. So this would have been in book she four, have, yeah. right? Where because or maybe that maybe time, yeah, start of five or did uh, five and four happened in conjunction, kind of. Something. Yeah, could be. But then after the fact, they would test those uh, uh those uh old women uh now. As in, like at the end of the book. Yeah, because that's kind of like a like in a post last battle yeah. world yeah. where you've got the kin yeah. infused well, yeah, into post, how yeah. the tower works at all, you know. Or yeah, yeah. yeah, just the way Egwene opened the doors to being tested at whatever. So, it says, oh, so they refused to test her because of her age, and she put up enough of a fuss that Marin had to take a firm hand with her. Oh, oh. it would it, possibly... excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Sorry about it that. Would, okay. It You're would fine. possibly turn out that she she could learn the channel with fair potential, but I yeah. guess we'll never know. Yeah. Huh. I guess we'll never. So know. the other two sisters, I guess we'll find out about. It's it's yeah weird. Well, now I, we know. Like, hey, keep an eye out for a uh, uh, Gween's sisters. Yeah. That's fine. I know they've mentioned. I, I know it's like vaguely mentioned in the book. You know what I mean? But like, it's weird yeah. to yeah. think that like she has siblings and. Yeah, yeah. Same with parents' siblings because they never even like mention his parents. It's always just the Luhans, you know. Well, so like, I don't. Entire family was wiped out in a bloodbath. Right, but when you don't really know about that until like you, you don't, don't feel, you don't feel that bad about it because yeah. Like, so when they're all dead, them. you're like, yeah, the people <laughs> yeah, I didn't uh, know existed. So, okay, yeah, who cares? Could have yeah. learned a channel. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all it says. The only and remaining savior uh, was a bloodbath. Their horse. And then uh, Matt, the Matt, sis, Matt's sisters we see at the, uh, you know, go to be a Sedai and yeah. Brad's one, one sibling is a uh, douche. Gallic. Yeah. Sort of. Half, but yeah. After yeah. Fashion. Still, what did I say? Ma maybe, I ice in, maybe ice them in some weird way. Is that right? Uh, is it ice them or luck? Uh, yeah, ice them. Or a cousin. No, luck, luck. Luke is Rand's cousin. Luke. Yeah. Luke, Luke, yeah. Luke, Luke. Um, um, wait, I honestly mix them up constantly. I can't, I can't recall which one. I, no, you, you were correct. Ison is Lance's cousin. That's ah, correct. Thank you. All right. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so Malcolm, and then they, and then they they merge. Jaren didn't care. Uh, he definitely <laughs> <Very smart>. did. <laughs> uh, maybe he did. I don't know. There was I, one I entry weird... where you just reminded me yeah. when you said Lan. Mm. Yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, no you're it, good. it was like. That's what the, the that's entry, what our show's the, about. The general, well, I mean, it's just it. Um, sorry about that. Tom said land, and then I remembered that there was one guy that he was in here. I forgot his name, but uh, he's known for he fell asleep on guard duty. Land had to wake him up. It was like the eye There's during three the or four war. people that fell asleep on guard duty. By the way, like <laughs> during the Isle War. Oh uh, right. Now, uh, there's a couple in the Iowa War. There's a couple in uh -huh. just in general that are mentioned, like fell asleep on guard duty. That would have been duty. me. I would have fallen asleep on guard duty. Thank you, Danilou. Sure. Thank you, Danilou. Yeah. Luke is Rand's uncle. <laughs> yeah, because it's Tigrane's brother. Uh, oh, uh, Ben Butler, uh, the Ravens, uh, I guess, prologue? Re uh, prologue? Yeah, prologue but Ravens was yeah. a Has weird detail on kind of Egwene's sisters, yeah. What is yeah. that? Uh, what, That's Ravens? the extra prologue. They, they when they did the comic it, books. No, they, they, it was when they split the books in two. For right, a but young it's also adult. in the it's also in the graphic novels. So when they split the novels oh. into the two young adult versions of I the have those. world. Yeah, I yeah. do too because I they had better artwork. I thought because it wasn't oh. Daryl K. Sweet. No offense to Daryl. What? Sweet. He's dead. <laughs> I have the peace. minor signed. Are you signed? No. Yes. I mean, no. Who are they signed by? Well, I Robert Jordan. Oh, can't oh, beat that. Oh, no, cool. No, no, no. Oh, look at you. No. I can go get him. I got, I got him for my kid. She was a year old then, but I got them for her. So You're such a class it. act, Taffy. How am I supposed to follow that? Was that good interrupting? I'm going to no, try yes, to interrupt you guys yeah, more. I'm going to try to do it more. You should yeah. interrupt us more. We, we talk yeah. over each other a lot. Okay, it's I'm not like we've been me? doing this for 10 years. Wait. <laughs> 
Well, Tom's pointing straight ahead to all of us. <laughs> oh, that's easy. You all do it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Kathy, you were going to say something more important than what Space we were balls. doing. Spaceballs. No, I yeah. think I think the uh, I think I think she nailed it. All right. Uh, well, then I would like to draw our attention to someone on page one thirty one. Uh, to answer Tom's question, because I don't care what, what John is about to say, uh, Ravens is like an extra prologue where Aguin's a child, and it shows like a little bit of them in child life. Yeah, it's pretty but hot. Like, That's awesome. Yeah, it's just that. like real quick. Like, Robert Jordan write that? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, he did. Uh, so, so you're telling me every time I went to the bookstore and I was like, I wonder if there's new Wheel of Time stuff, and there never there was. was. I was just waiting for the next book. There <laughs> literally <laughs> was. Yeah, yeah. It's really dumb, isn't it? <coughs> Trolley uh, Talk so, with uh, more interruptions, please. Pardon my interruptions. God uh, damn it, Trolley Talk. Stop interrupting us. Yeah, I know. We're trying to have a conversation. Oh. Fucking dick. <sighs> that was an adequate interruption, I guess, though. It was uh, okay. It was all right. It was all right. It was an okay interruption. A lord, John, in, a song, a lord in a song sung at the White Ring in Madarin. He had an evening with a Randy young woman when the night was cold. Wait, who? Do you, think that's, do you think that's where that song Baby It's Cold Outside came from? That's exactly <laughs> what that is. <laughs> song about yes, a Randy, <laughs> Randy young woman when the night's cold. I think that's where uh, Christmas I, came from. That's gotta be it. That's exactly what that is. <laughs> Baby It's Cold Outside. <laughs> Oh, it's man. such a weird like that. I'm that glad we got an, to the bottom of that. <laughs> it's got an entry. Like, do you think the white? Is, do you think the white? Do you think the white ring was her vagina? <laughs> it was. God. It was. Or her bleached asshole. <laughs> that. Oh wait. Yeah. I was sure it was her mm. vagina, but now you brought up a really well. Now we need an audience point. poll. Uh, or we'll cum stained lips. Just kind of. Jesus. <laughs> How am I supposed to keep up with that? <laughs> now right, you can I bring, like can I bring everyone's attention to page 116? You can indeed. While Joe's working on his... As soon uh, as I finish, <laughs> bleached asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear, in the B section, there is no entry for bleached asshole. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm turning this off. So on page 116, uh, Bagad, uh, from the fourth age, which so many people assume we're, that we're living in is the author of the wheel of time oh okay hmm. that's all i had for that suleiman so bagad wait where is this what is uh, in the middle of the page, page. bagad kala suleman ah, thank you suleman so bagad don't read the rest of it just says author of the wheel of time that's, that's awesome i did not see that that's just the book that was this series was uh, like based on. <laughs> or do you think since we're in the since so many people think we're in the fourth age, the fourth age happens over and over and over again. This so you're some, what you're what you're surmising is Suleiman So Bagad is Robert Jordan. I mean, I'm asking you. I don't know. You, dis you discuss it. Just Chief it. historian at the court of the sun and the Look, I'm just gonna leave. I'm, is, I'm gonna leave it for you guys. Was to talk about or will okay. be. He will be. He was. He, he is. Might be. He might be. I hope and Tom. In an age yet to come, come he will be. Yeah. Now, Tom. While Tom's not here, we'll read this compliment from Dana Lou. Well spotted, Tom. Yeah, well spotted, Tom. But also, uh, don't tell him that when he comes back. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Hurry, get rid of, get rid of. We don't message. want. We don't want Tom getting a big head. No. Yeah. And that includes his small penis. So this is the second time Dana Lewis said this. We're in the first stage, not the fourth. I don't. I'm not saying I disagree. I would prefer that that's the case. And maybe this is like wrong, or for me to assume that. But I like my impression from a lot of our fandom and the nerds therein was that the fourth age is like the current age. Like at the end of the last battle, like that was. That's it. Like we're the fourth age or whatever. Which means it could like be I several, several, like several too. thousands and thousands of years long. Yeah. But it would have to be 
for that to be the end or the beginning of the fourth age to have existed right after Rand died. Well, but, it doesn't make sense for it to be a three thousand year epic, right? It would make it E P O C H considering what I learned uh is that history humanity is about three thousand years old. Uh so I think that makes sense. No, oh, we gotta follow why Shizzle follows up. Then the second age begins when we discover the one power. Huh. Hmm. And then you know what we can do? We can drill a hole in the fucking cave and ruin everything. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the discovery of the one power it's gotta take a lot of time. I mean the age of legends is not huh. not what. Well, I guess Go the on, discovery Jody. of the one power is the age. So the Age of Legends would be a, the second age? Is that what we're yeah, saying? Yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah that's that, right. not what you... Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, th so the discovery of the one power three? starts the Age of Legends, which is the second age. That's what we're saying. Well, that's, that's not necessarily... I don't know, really. But think about... Uh, I mean, I guess the answer could be yes versus no. <laughs> Good way of putting it. That was Thank you. well Thank you. said. Interesting, yeah. Jono. Well, the question that would be... I'm going to have to contemplate that for... So would age seven then on this idea be pretty much, you know, kind of Iron Age, Bronze Age, whatever the fuck of, because, you know, or does that, is the first oh, age... Oh, no, I don't all think that's... I don't think Bronze Age and Iron Age and shit... Really come into it? Yeah, no, I think they're just, like, encapsulated in what like an age would be in terms of the way I get that, but it's it like takes at the very least hundreds of years to do that. So is that part oh, of yeah, the first sure, age? Yeah. Seven I don't know. God damn it, Joe. What do we even pay you for? God damn it, Joe! Uh, no, right. Well, I've got okay, one so more. No, here's the thing. So wait, hold on. There are stories which Tom tells. Yeah, oh, Tom's back. Yeah. yeah. That oh, stem Tom from Hill. our age. Mosque and Merc and whatnot. So, which I understand are Moscow and America. However, those were legends become myth, become the blah, 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 blah. And like that could have yeah. been from three ages beforehand. You know what I mean? Like that doesn't necessarily solidify it for me that it's age. That yeah, that could have been. Like, the question is, is that the first age? Is that the fourth age? Is it the sixth age? Because yes, and that's Tom telling him in the first book. One of my favorite, like, my favorite parts about how he throws down lore so early. I like to do yeah. that. Uh, Aaron Emmons feel, but whether or not that means it has to have been you know okay. earlier so turning Charlie up the talk wheel. has another note that kind of weighs in on what i'm saying supposedly the porter stones are from the first age only because they predate so age, that would but... mean like if we're the first age we'll that doesn't make any sense either though well we'll discover dimensional travel and then the white the one power and that's the second age because of the birth of the second age is the one power We'd know por about well, portal stones it. before. Hmm, that's interesting. Tom just came in. He's just ready to get the fuck out. Yeah, of I know. Him, sure. <laughs> All right. Well, cra it's crazy tangent. Then we'll continue to unravel. Yeah. Oh, actually, we probably won't. But Tom, I've got another one for you that I want you to come back. I'm glad you're back for. Uh, and this is one. If you'd like, you can take it. But it's on page 134. The... It's my last note. All right. All right, 134. John's last note. Goodness. It's my last yeah. one. It's at the bottom, and Tom can feel free to take it if he'd like. He's on mute, so I'll take it. Uh, but an Andorra family. I feel an Andorran? Like, yeah. Oh, did I not put the N on it? Uh, an Andorran family is just... It really seems like it wants to cross-reference. Not all of them say, like, see whatever. But this one's literally telling you, see a dream, yeah. dead wife. I thought you were going to say this entry is in the wrong um, letter and it was supposed to be under C. No, it's go back to dead wife. <laughs> Although I don't mind cut. All right, that go works too. Go back to dead wife. Try. Go back to dead wife, though. But okay. an Endoran family. Go back to dead wife. See also <laughs> dead wife. Almond's got like a nice fat paragraph. What is Trap said no one tried saying the portal stone's name Siri. <laughs> oh, we're done. Damn it. We do have portal stones. <laughs> Sorry, Taffy, what were we gonna say? Uh, nothing. Oh. Did you get to, did you read a dreams yet, Taffy? A dreams? No, I'm on almond bunt. 
Yeah, no, find a dream bunt. Yeah, when you get a chance, if you could read that to us. Yeah, bunt, read it out loud, please. Bunt, comma, a dream. No, it's a, no, it's a dream bunt. Now. It's in the A's. Bunt, comma, old, a dream. She'll get there. Adrin? How do you say that? Adrine. Ad Adrine. Ad Ad uh, Bunt's dead wife? <laughs> <laughs> We, you know, oh, what? did that, you guys talk about that before? We did, but that's <laughs> yeah. that one's like that's that's solid. We're gonna bring, I'm gonna just, that's we're gonna make an image of it, just talk about it every week. I think, yes, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's the best entry in the whole book. Oh my god, it's so it's dumb, it's so good. I love it. Oh, uh, uh, that's, that's all I've got, unless you guys have more. Thomas, no. you got another entry? That was a nice yeah. little journey you just took us on. Thank you. It was a nice <laughs> journey. It was. I don't, I, yeah. Uh, I so, so I guess um, that's podcast. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What whoa, about, whoa, whoa. What about Black Tower for your buddies? Black Tower podcasts. Okay. Black Tower. We talked Our to John. Didn't you say you wanted to talk about that? Too. I found it much like themselves to be pretty straightforward and boring. It's a long thing. Uh, there were a couple interesting things in here, actually. That's a good, I'm glad you actually came. I'm sorry, it. I was taking a long drink when you did that. Tom, that was a sick burn. <laughs> sick burn. If I insult them and then nobody laughs, it sounds mean. Like it, yeah, which is why I said I'm sorry. I wasn't laughing at your clearly. Sorry, I don't find you boring. Them. Black Tower podcast. We love you guys. Um, yeah. So what, didn't you, John, didn't you say there was something you wanted to mention in the Black Tower? There's uh, actually a couple of things about like really kind of how it was laid out. Like I'd forgotten there was like a dungeon under a second place. That's what I read. Things. Yes. I yeah. forgot that and too. I was like, isn't that where Loghain was? Uh, that's where he eventually put, but I could, I just thought it was like part of the palace, right? You know, like kind of why the fuck not? Uh, but oh. they've got like this giant fucking thing going on and like it really was a city unto itself when you start reading this, especially funny and stupid. Why you feel like you needed to make a giant wall in area considering you guys travel in and out, fuck if I know. Uh, but you know, good for, enough, I guess. For the normies, Jono. For Can't the normies. those normies take I mean, your guys you out with to, arrows. Yeah, you still have to worry about armies. Yeah, come on. I guess. Uh, but of anyway, you do. A, I said I worry about random arrows taking them out. Yeah, but they are not allowed to use their power. True, the that's, they're not like yeah. living weapons. Yeah. 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 Anyway, Matthew, okay, what else did you have on the uh, topic? The topic of the letter B? Yeah. No, just There's shout out to the Black Tower Podcast. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you can't just right. not, I mean, they were on your show. They're very nice. They're okay. They're they're, they're okay. I mean, one yeah. of them I like. One of them is your favorite. One of them is my favorite. Did you guys notice that every Forsaken has like at least a page, and like Balthamel's in this was like pretty interesting. And if you skip ahead to Halima, also interesting. It's like a whole page, and then yeah. the one guy that gets barely a paragraph is Bilal. <laughs> Just the like ball? in the book, yeah, <laughs> yeah, nothing. I read it, yeah. No respect. I mean, he's a footnote. Guy. He's a footnote in the books. He's a footnote in the companion. Yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, there was actually more written, but it got bail fired out. <laughs> <laughs> what a high like, proud. What those I feel like that the first name is Balls and because he's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. After Robert Jordan wrote wrote book three, just like. <sighs> <laughs> burned all the things he had written about the wall. It's gone from the pattern. But I remembered writing it. <laughs> and then he listened to Dust on the Wind, like, on repeat. Yeah. Drunk. It was interesting. It's a weird story. Let us um, Alan will tell it something. But a good story. Yeah. Uh, the Black Tower, or the Black Ajah, by the way, has some interesting stuff that I don't think I remembered. Well, I guess I did not remember, but I'm sure it's in yeah. the book. Yeah. I wrote a note um, on Black Aja. It's on page 119, and I wrote it's like worth three pages disgusting. or something. That's yeah, but like as far as how they catch people, write? Oh. yeah. I wrote worth discussing. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought 
thought maybe Black I thought, Raja. I thought, this, like, I thought maybe John would take it from there. It's like <laughs> disgusting. We're discussing. Well, I guess let's discuss it. It sounds okay. worth it to me. Uh, there are a few things of like, you know, we know uh, Israel's you know, like formation. Like, you know, like he was responsible for that, and that's confirmed here because it could just be his own egotism, uh, egotism. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Egotism. Yeah. Yeah, that's really some deep thoughts, and dark thoughts. Um, but kind of like how they captured like someone who is going to be either <laughs> murdered or sworn in. Which, by the way, good choices. Hopefully, you were here for the latter because you're not. You're here for the former. Uh, it's a real cool club. That's very exclusive membership, I suppose. That's why um, there's only really, three of us in uh, Twakas. What's that? That's why there's still only three of us in Twakas. Well, there's a third we at the bottom. Though, We've dumped a lot of bodies. <laughs> Ward stopped drinking because of it. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that. Cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. Um, <laughs> edit that so, out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take care of that in post, yeah. Yeah, I'll take, I'll but, take care of it in post. Is there a post in the live show? Yes. It's called Bailfire. I mean, there is. Okay. Can't disagree with the Bailfire joke. Yeah, yeah, Bail Scream on that one. <laughs> Uh, Bale Scream is so good. I love that. Movie. Yeah, that was a cool. I mean, again, I know we already talked about it, but that's Bale Scream was my favorite. I, that's little stuff ever. that like that that makes the companion. Yeah, me too. Wild. I love. Yeah. Me. Little I stuff like always like, challenge Megatron's. Uh, authority. Yeah. 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 You gotta right. You can just let him be the leader of the Decepticons. I know. I, just let him try it for once. One time yeah. he's crowned, and then he gets disintegrated with Balefire. Weirdly enough. <laughs> 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 That's what do you think? It's just, is it like really an E, like, a, like that? Yeah, well, try it again. again. What is it? Yeah. Try it again. It was like a E. <laughs> no, it's good. Like that. Really That's strange. a bail screen. That's a really good. Yeah, that sounds like bail That's cream. How, that sound. <laughs> the pattern no, ba sounds. Bail's cream is when he do become. No, oh yeah, yeah. That's when right. he do becoming. Like a fountain when he comes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he still sounds like that. It's a Yay! bell scream. At least Courtney six pearl necklaces when he comes. Oh. <laughs> 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 like, good. When he comes. His, I don't understand why you guys aren't doing that every time we say it. What's the name of his ship? Do you remember? <laughs> the spray. <laughs> the spray. It's the spray. <laughs> God damn it. How have we never linked all of these together? <laughs> the you know what? This goes to this done. just proves that there's still ground for us to tread. <laughs> <laughs> In this, oh, Tavi's back. Sorry. In you this, while the audience is saying, <laughs> "Oh man, uh, oh, uh, Trolley well. Talk has a request, Taffy. New Taffy song slash video needs to be about a bail song. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Hold on. That's bail, such a good idea. No, Bale's cream. Oh, ba yeah. that, that's what bail's I said. Bale's cream? cream? What did I yeah. say? I said Bale's cream. Yeah, Bale's yeah. cream. What? Yeah. We'll just do all of it. We'll just include all of it. I, I mean, <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> we all scream for bail scream. You spelled like the last one wrong over his ears. <laughs> yeah. uh, now nah, that sounds like uh bail again and that sharing a uh room again during the circus. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm glad we, we 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 tapped into some gold tonight. No, yeah, the bees were wide open, guys. Brought to you by the letter B was was really yeah. Good. The B's wide open. It's probably a uh, probably check out. What that's a do. that's it's a popular. that's a Creed song. Uh, the B's wide open. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! I wrote down Blood Snake too, but I just fucking love Blood Snakes. Wait, what's yeah. Blood Snake? It's the one. It's like I think it's from the waste. It's that's a yeah. No, that's when John O'Blood lances somebody and then he <laughs> yeah. it up and then he comes and slides turns their dick to jelly. <laughs> yeah. They're dick to jelly. jelly dick Colbert. Jelly dick. Yeah. <laughs> old jelly dick Colbert. Is that your, <laughs> <laughs> is that your nickname? <laughs> yeah. well, he's a sword school. eater, but well, he's only into fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how did you do that to yourself? 
That's a- <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. No one even knew my last name. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> That's oh, podcast this week. Thank you. If you have any comments or questions, leave them. <laughs> Leave them below. Yeah, just leave your comments or questions because we're not going to answer. Yeah, them. like listen, listen. Yeah, um, you leave know, it. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah, I left one last week. You idiots never wrote me back. Or we will. Hey, comments. we said we're getting better at responding, and we will eventually. That's worse. Respond. It's getting worse. Oh my what? god! Leave, leave it on the door. Is it worse? Get the hell out. <laughs> one week out, and it's bad. Oh man, that's not good. All right, we need to get better at this. There's only Jono. three people to respond to emails. Yeah. Uh, it's not our uh, fault. No, it was on, it was on your YouTube. Uh, it was a comment on the YouTube. Yeah, because I was Comments trying to you. add no. to. Oh, no. I was trying to add to the. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> when this is you over, can... I'm gonna reply to every comment on YouTube. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like on a Saturday morning when you get drunk at 10 a.m. and when I mean, you're out yeah. of town. Five, five that's what YouTube. you should be doing, Tom. Yeah, that's I my like favorite that. Tom. My right, favorite well, Tom is. 10 a.m. Drunk on Twitter on at 10 a.m. Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite. 10 a.m. Saturday, drunk on Twitter, and it's us. It's actually tough. I'm going yeah, to St. Louis on Sunday, so I'll uh, I'll respond to everybody then. <laughs> Dana Lewis like, said, I left comments to help the algorithm. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. that's what I mean. I was going to say algorithm that. The algorithm doesn't care about us. You have to, you have to work the algorithm. Oh, and Dana, it was very great meeting you in person at JordanCon, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we love Dana Lewis. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I agree completely. Uh, yeah. you, I, I have met her many, many times online, unlike you guys. But I, yeah, again, in, in, life, in real life, was was very nice. Yeah, you oh, can listen to the audio show. version of this show wherever you get your podcasts, and that's technically true. You can watch the audio version of this show. Wait, <laughs> we miss Bent. Yeah. Beach says it wasn't in there. Bent, no. Uh, I, you know what? I'm. A, I'll I'll take that up with Alan and Maria and Harriet. They're all well, responsible. Actually how, how dare they not include my favorite word, bent, but also all of the curses. Bent is a word in English. Well, it's specifically a curse in the Wheel of Time, though. That's the point. Nope. So it has yeah, a I, I double-checked because it wasn't in there. It's, a, it's an English, it's an old uh, English term. So it's actually not specific to the Wheel of Time. It is in this context. Silly bent. A silly bent. Yeah. That's... Well, let's get caught up on this. Twacast theme songs brought to you by the one and the only Tiffany Bennington. Tom, that was good. That was like a verbal whip crack in the and the Andrew no. part of time. Links to their stuff is below, and by links to their stuff, I mean specifically Taffy, who's on the show with us right now. Oh. Find her awesome YouTube videos. You can actually just touch the screen, and her videos will start blowing. <laughs> touch her face. Try we it. did. We figured that out. I know how to do that. And play. You just did it. Jono? Okay, I'll, I'll have to. Oh, I, I closed guess, my phone. I I I'm Jono. I'm Jono, Taffy. Thank Hi, you Jono. to our guest, Taffy. <laughs> Thank um, you for being here, is what he's for... supposed to be saying. Well, he he already thanked me when he asked me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we, you we guys, like to give you, we'd like to say thank you to you over, uh, like, you know, on the show. I know you're still yeah. so polite, sweeties. And that's why we I like to spend time with you. That's, that's how we're often described. I mean, I <laughs> agree. Are. We are often described <laughs> as polite sweeties. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Taffy, thank you so much for being on the show, especially at such late notice. I, you know, we all love you, appreciate you and your art and your work and your efforts. Oh, Jesus. Um, I want to thank you again. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank we were going to save you for, for tea, tea, but I mean... Uh, you know, we need to let me know. Me. Just hit me up the night before tea comes out. Oh, I mean, that's uh, what's going to happen, by the way. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, if you, it if was going to be Otto out. Bennington, we asked. Yeah, I was going to ask Otto, but I actually <laughs> hit your name instead. Oh, okay. That would yeah, have been a busy. very different show. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great if you could get him on for. Well, I mean, you can come on uh, for O. Yeah. 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 Let's be He's given me a Uh, Join us next week for Killy Kane. Uh, we do as we do. Join us next C. episode for more Wheel of Time covering the companion, where we're going to have Killy Kane, who is Billy Zane's right. alter ego. In the, Brought to you by the letter Kane. C, I think is what you're trying to say. Yes, but Billy is pretty sure he couldn't make it today. Yeah, but, but Killy Kane's going to make it. Yeah, yeah. I'm Jono. Suck brick, Joe. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, keep the change of the animals. Tommy Bear. Study your math. Bye, Taffy. Bye. <sighs> I love you. Bye, oh, guys. <laughs> Good night, Kevin. Among the first to start, the twat cause was so smart to lovingly bash our favorite books. But that was long ago, and now they've grown the show, and now they got us in their hooks. Don't throw coins to these bastards, they need bars of gold at least. Someone please keep them afloat. Now let's listen as they once again ramble through a book. Let's get the fucking One of them is Tom, but he is barely on. Sometimes he calls into the show. Another one is Joe, no. Is he their joker? Oh no. And Joe, is he the stupid one? Welcome to the Twat, cause we will share our love for books and all our hate in every episode. We'll entertain you, make you laugh so hard you barely can stand up. That is the Twatcast Code.